All right. In this video, I will show you how to add bookmarks to your Steam Ole. Um, so if you are if you have installed Steam on your machine and you are running a game, you can uh, press Shift and Tab key together and on your keyboard to open Steam Ole. So this is Steam Ole, and there are a bunch of stuff available here, including a browser. If you click on this, it will open up a browser window and it will automatically navigate to Google. Uh, let's say I want to go to face it website. I have to type the website URL on the navigation bar and press enter. Um, most of the time I'm using this browser because if I used Chrome, I had to minimize the game, go to the browser, then if I then I have to come back to game again that takes time but with this browser I can just press shift tab to go back to game if I want to go back to website just press um, shift and tab on your keyboard uh, that's easy then minimizing the game it takes time you know but the thing is uh, there are no books bookmarks in this web browser this, uh, this is a really minimal web browser so there are no bookmarks but what we can do is we can add bookmarks to your um, steam overlay itself like this if I click on this it, uh, it will open the browser navigate to face it then you can do whatever you want if you want to go back to go back to your game just press shift and tab it's that easy okay let's see how we do it now I have opened up my file browser and I'm on my C drive let's navigate to program files steam again to resource folder and finally layout you will find a file called overlay desktop dot layout inside this folder this one open up that with your notepad these are the three buttons you saw earlier in my steam overlay uh, let's say I want to add a new button what I can do is I can copy this paste it below like this I will change this to Twitter I'm adding a Twitter button now I can change my label text which will be visible on your Steam overlay, Twitter, and of course the URL. All right, cool. Now we have a button. We just have to add that to uh, the list, um, button list. I scroll down to a layout block. Inside that, you will find controls, which is a list. Paste your a newly created button and in the and the button name with the comma all right now you can save it close the text text editor then you can open uh, csgo again or whatever you game again you will see the changes in that steam overlay but uh, the thing is if you restart your machine when you when you uh, reopen when you reopen steam it will uh, what is that? Um, it will be a self -valid validation process. In that validation process, it will find uh, that file will be modified. That uh, overlay desktop file is modified. So it will replace with the default one again. Then box will be gone. To prevent that, I have created a bad file. Let me get the URL. This is the URL you want to navigate to. Uh, of course, this you will find this in video description below. Okay, there are two files. One is a bad file, which is a executable, and this is layout, the normal layout file. I will download these two. Okay, I have to press skip. This is an executable. You will get an get a warning for this. Now navigate to downloads folder copy these two files navigate to C 
go to users syntax is my profile name so in your case this will be different go to your um, user profile folder and create new folder called steam underscore conf once you inside that you can paste the, uh, what you have copied okay now i will open this full uh, this file which is a layout file as you can see same as uh, what you have what you have showed you before but right now i will change this name to something else sample sample 2 and sample 3 so you can uh, see the changes in your application okay that's it i will close this if you want to um, add a new button of of course you can do that here inside your conf folder the steam conf folder and the layout file you can do it here and it will reflect in your game i will close this window go back to my file manager and open up my bat file okay um, there are there are a few variables here the, uh, these are uh, these are file paths to a uh, bunch of configurations these are steam configurations and um, these are steam conf configurations okay now first i'm checking um, if there are custom configurations available if if i find one i will um, copy the default one which is in which is in layout folder in steam files okay okay um i will copy that one and keep it as a backup inside my config folder all right now um i got my i got my this custom overlay configuration i will copy that to my layout folder then i will open my open up my game 730 is my game id which is unique to csgo if it is a different game you can add it here you can change it here um there's a timeout timeout until game uh, until the game is loaded and of course i'm putting back the um default configuration back to layout folder just to avoid the uh, time it takes to validate and replace the uh, default configuration by steam okay that's it for bad file now i will call, close this all windows i'm on my desktop i will create a new shortcut go to new shortcuts okay um let's browse my bat file which is inside steam conf okay select that give give a file name i will call this csgo since it's it's game csgo finish it i will add a i will add an icon right click on the shortcut go to properties go to icons uh, it will give an warning just click ok good browse okay um all the icons will be available in your steam folder if you go to steam then again steam games there will be uh, icons available for your la la game library click on the icon click ok again click ok and ok now if you uh, double click on this icon it will run the um, run the bat file which is inside my configuration folder this bat file will be executed when this bat file is executed this start game game will be called automatically so the csgo will will be ran but the thing is there will be a console to run the bat file if that's bothering you you can go to properties again and select run as minimum uh, minimized click apply okay now you can double click on it um, this is a new uh, 
this is a bad file we have not ran before so you will get this one in you, you can just uncheck this checks checkbox and run it again it will take some time all right now let's go to overlay as you can see changes are reflecting here as I made it if you restart the machine and open up CSGO again then still there um, all the books bookmarks will be available here so that's it for the tutorial if you got any questions you can comment down in the comment, se comment section below so that's it goodbye have a nice day